What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Wow, 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 wow. Well, he doesn't even know what it's called. What's it called? What's it called? Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Caleb and I were saying, dude. <laughs> It's something I've never done it, but how great would it be? You're hooking up with someone, and then right when uh, you finish, you're like, you look at him and you're like, "How about that?" <laughs> <laughs> huh? How about that? How about That's that? Probably huh? the way what men said in like the twenties. Yeah, how, well, how about, about that? that? Well, how about that? <laughs> uh, business has concluded. And what did you think? <laughs> business has concluded is a great way to say i came to business has concluded <laughs> yeah well um, um i'm plum tuckered out we have reached uh end of day tuesday <laughs> eod <laughs> yeah it's eod <laughs> so that's why i filed my report yeah <laughs> you can expect my dick on your desk by next friday <laughs> um yeah Sometime in the next several weeks, I believe there will be more sex. <laughs> <laughs> Not today, though, for I'm tuckered. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm tuckered. I wonder what the longest, uh, you know, I would love to know the numbers on longest which sex? day had the most and least sex percentage wise on Earth. Oh. You know, like 9-11 the covid shutdown like oh, what like shit. is that more or less you know and i'd be interested to know each day in history that's the shit i would ask in heaven which i would like to see the graph through all of time which day know? in history had the most sex like yes on that exact day not on the like the annual uh celebration of it or whatever like on 9-11 each 9-11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, which 9-11 had the most <laughs> fucking in it? Was it the original one? <laughs> the 10-year? Damn, that's really wild. Uh, <laughs> I imagine it was a lot. The first 9-11 was probably not that much. Sure. It's probably Certainly maybe not, the not in the morning. <laughs> I wonder if there's anyone who <laughs> lost their virginity the morning of 9-11 and then turned on the news and they were like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> there had to be somebody. And that somebody was me. Yeah. Ooh, that's, that's right. a good. <laughs> uh, I guess you're wondering how I got here. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it pauses right before the plane <laughs> hits the. <laughs> uh, that's me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Losing my virginity in the cockpit of that airplane. You might be wondering how I survived that. <laughs> to understand, we're going to have to go back to a little time I like to call 1993. <laughs> Nirvana was on the radio. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Um, oh, boy. There had to be. I actually, it would have. I was at the prime age. I was fucking 19, I think, when 9 11 happened. So I think a lot of people at my school, I think that probably several people at the college I went to lost their virginity either the night before or that morning. Wow. That's crazy. Because in LA, it was also 6 a.m. So there were probably people up having sex at like 2 or 3 a.m. or maybe later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy to think, think about that. I wonder if anyone tried to join the Mile High Club, you know? because uh, <laughs> totally i don't even know if Let's that's talk real. about like, that how many people really people always say that and i'm like i i fly every week and i never see any two people sneak into the bathroom to no phone, ever that's because two people don't fit in an airplane bathroom one barely you know yeah totally i don't think it'd be good especially if you either. got a big old dick like me <laughs> 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 you know dude when i go in there alone <laughs> it's like honestly a lot of the time that my dick doesn't fit in there. <laughs> You're trying to shut that door, trying to slide that door. And then I just like look, look at You're the just... cabin with this like sly look like, what can I say? I got a huge old dick and it doesn't fit in the bathroom. <laughs> 
<laughs> for like the record, I don't would say his dick uh, yeah. can't even fit in the bathroom. My dick doesn't fit in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> dick so no big order. it doesn't fit in the bathroom i'm always banging it in the in the shower door <laughs> <laughs> yeah totally Keeps when i take a shower water gets fucking everywhere because my dick keeps the door open <laughs> that's how big it is <laughs> yeah. i love there's a bernie mac joke where it goes i pull my shit out this whole room would get dark which is implying it's big enough to block out the sun yeah i mean that's that's big there that's was a split second big. when you said that that i thought you were talking about bernie sanders <laughs> <laughs> let me be clear dick if so I big it has a shadow, shadow. <laughs> <laughs> i bet bernie has a huge dick somehow sure. i just get that feeling him and larry david have that similar like they got a big old hog and they're very confident yeah, and they don't have they have no tolerance for bullshit. And that, to me, those are big dick moves. You're not you the know? only socialist in America for 70 years without having <laughs> something propping you up. You know what I mean? Uh, that's how you know. <laughs> you never had a fast car. You know what I mean? You never yeah, had yeah. any like crazy powerful thing. He's definitely like riding around on uh, some sort of energy coming from somewhere. That's another thing I would like to know. I would like to know every single president and candidate. I would like to know what they were packing. You know, we Me for too. some reason we know all about Hitler. One ball, little dick. Is that you true? Know? Yes. And uh, how is that known? Man, they know a lot of shit about because well, everybody wants Who's to know. They? Yeah, they, but how do you? There's where did money that really to be come made. from. Not well, they that I'm saying all the ladies I that think, him. I d- oh right, sure. And then all you know, two. <laughs> <laughs> Every one of them's a salty. <laughs> All of Hitler's exes are real salty. Oh, sure. They're ready to spill the tea. Sure. Dude, I, I was he was like such a, a poon hound back in the day. I was reading, I was uh, I was really reading. I was trying to make him I was listening to a podcast. Mm-hmm. The Noiser has a great podcast. They have like 10 episodes on Hitler. And uh he used to like go out at night. He had a fake name for when he was cruising for, for German chicks. This is while he was Fuhrer? The his whole life, all he did was was you know try and get it in, and uh, really, yeah, yeah, dude. But I'm just uh, saying, while he was like running the country and being a dictator, he had a fake name. It was during that period of time. He would go up to women, and he, you know, what his fake name was? It was the wolf. <laughs> the wolf. Wait, no, but seriously, I'm asking: Are you saying that specifically it was a fake name that he used because he was in power, or that he had all the time anyway? I think it was just a th- his thing, like from a very early age wow. to his whole life that he would go out and he would tell girls, I am the wolf. And uh, and it worked. Wow. It worked. That's why I wanted to thing. clarify, because that's lamer. It's still <laughs> fucked up. But that's like uh, if you're 15. You're like, I'm the wolf. Yeah. And the and fact wor- that women were into it. Oh, no. And he, uh, his whole thing with Ava Braun, she was always like, let's get married. And he's like, I can't. I'm married to Germany, babe. People want their dictator to be single. <laughs> like wow. he would repeat, she would always have in her journals. She's like, he's married to Germany. And he says we can't get married because he's married to. It was so nuts. She's sitting there thinking, when's he gonna? <laughs> That's the exact same logic I used to justify never cleaning the floor. Right. Whoever I live with, they're like, hey, man, you never clean the floor. And I'm like, look, my fans aren't going <laughs> to. <laughs> they don't want to be a fan of a guy who cleans the floor. <laughs> if I start cleaning the floor, all of a sudden, I'm not going to be funny anymore. <laughs> so sorry, man. That's just what it is to live with me. You know? Yeah. We got it's a dirty totally- ass floor. <laughs> and I got a big old dick. <laughs> For the record, we don't think stuff like this. If this is no, your first no. episode, we don't. Uh, oh care man! About if this is size. your first episode. You got a mm-hmm. lot to catch up on. Yeah, you know. First of all, I'm Caleb, and that's Dave. Hello. We we started this podcast in a park during yes. COVID, and we yeah. L.A. COVID, so real COVID, no nothing. Crazy you COVID. Yeah. Crazy, crazy COVID. Uh, <laughs> nothing was open. Crazy, was crazy COVID sounds like a Sinatra song about COVID. Crazy, crazy COVID. <laughs> yeah. Crazy, 
crazy, crazy <laughs> COVID. I like it. I like crazy, crazy COVID. Yeah, me too. And you know what I hate so much is those dipshits that live. Uh... <laughs> oh, here we go. I'm going to sound like <laughs> such a coastal elite. Yeah. Uh, just because you live, you have more fun living in Texas than I have living in California. And then they, but then they complain about shit where they're like, oh, I couldn't stand COVID. And I'm like, in Florida? You couldn't stand it there. I stood it in California where we, we got rid of masks like three weeks ago. Yeah. You know, and then the gas price, they're like, gas. And I'm like, what the fuck? Gas yeah, what are you has talking been about? A million dollars an ounce in California the whole time. The whole time. I just yeah. the complaining kills me. I'm like, totally. Geez, you wouldn't yeah. survive a day in uh, this hellscape. Yeah, totally. It's a person who's like butt naked holding five automatic weapons sitting on the porch of their house that cost 10 bucks. They're like, this is hard. <laughs> I, like... <laughs> <laughs> and then when you they go, you should move from California to Texas. And then you do. And then they go, all these fucking Californians moving out here. <laughs> totally. I'm like, the, what you told us to move you sitting there bragging with your gun butt naked on your porch yeah totally man i moved here to be butt naked on my porch and now i'm butt naked on my porch wearing a mask <laughs> <laughs> this is horrible <laughs> <laughs> and then they will go oh, we got the biggest fucking state this state's so damn big and then like <laughs> Eight people move from California and they're like, what the fuck? What the fuck? All oh, these commies move. And I'm like, the communists aren't the one moving to Texas, you dipshit. It's also really funny uh, th that like Texans talking about how big Texas is has always been fucking hilarious oh, to me because that is technically true. But uh, all the cities are in the same area because <laughs> the rest of the state fucking blows. <laughs> like there's El yeah. Paso. El Paso is cool as shit. And then you and then it takes seven days to drive from el paso to houston oh, it's horrible. and it's so such a long drive with so little going on that the speed limit is 80 the yeah. state itself is like get out of here get the go. fuck out of here yeah <laughs> go 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 i've always loved too that the same it's the stretch of highway that's just like flat and long it's yeah. fucking 80 and everyone's doing 100 like there's yeah. no cops it's like no. the fucking Autobahn, and uh, <laughs> it says 80, and then 10 feet later, it's like, caution, deer crossing. <laughs> They're like, oh, whatever, yeah. dude. Uh, <laughs> just fucking make it through this weird Frogger game as fast as you possibly fucking can without dying, because yeah. this is the worst part of the world. Oh, it's horrible. I've, dro I've drove through Texas once and just was blown away. Couldn't believe how boring it was. Couldn't believe how long it took. And then they're bragging about that. So like, it's it's just big because you drew it big. You're just Russia. It, you're America's hot Russia, and you think you're hot <laughs> shit, but no one fucking, it's useless. It's like the exact same thing as that, too. And Russia's like, we're big. And it's like, yeah, but like 80% of you is Siberia. Everything died. Everything died, including the people you sent there. Dude, there's a part of uh, Russia. I looked this up the other day. <laughs> I got a big book of maps. There's a part of Russia that gets down to negative 90. Negative fucking 90. Yeah. And it's like, man, fuck that place. Yeah. That's too cold. <laughs> yeah, totally. Who gives a shit about your no wonder they're all mad? <laughs> yeah, you should tell him that, dude. Yeah. We should find a way to make Caleb the ambassador to Russia. So he can be like, I found out why you guys are mad. I'd love to be an ambassador. I think I'd <laughs> yeah. kick ass. I wouldn't be good at anything else, but I could ambassador my ass off, fly out to the country. I'd man. get every world leader really fucked up. On El yeah, Segundo dude. beer. That's right. That's why I want to I want to be the ambassador to Amsterdam so I can smoke weed, you know? <laughs> I can smoke weed with the president of uh Holland. I, do they have a president? <laughs> I mean, you never see that. Guy. I don't know. Obviously, there's no ambassador. That would be really funny if we we're such jerk offs as America that we have an ambassador to the Netherlands and an ambassador to Amsterdam. That'd be <laughs> just funny. Cause, just because someone's nephew wants to take mushrooms all day. I bet people in Amsterdam wake up. I bet. What if they don't have a leader and they just all wake up one day like, fuck, we need a president. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Dude. Shit, we're Amsterdam. This sucks. We got to get an election going. We need, they need a house, right? Don't they need a house? Oh, my God. Damn. It is like 2006 and we don't have any rules yet. <laughs> We should pick some fucking rules, dude. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Everybody has to drive on the right. <laughs> it's just these like really high. <laughs> They're just like at a restaurant. Like, okay, fuck, 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 fuck. Uh... 
<laughs> you got to drive on the right. Uh, no, what else uh, do people do? you can't Shit. run with it. You can't run with a knife. It, wow. Okay. <laughs> you can, definitely can't run with a knife because everybody's so high and that would be fucked up. That would be fucked up. You could get all hurt, man. Okay. <laughs> Is our money sign a C or an S? Oh, I like shit. S. Wait, what are our letters? What are <laughs> the letters that we have? <laughs> it's us. <laughs> it's we don't know anything about being Dutch. Like, uh, do you guys still Damn. wear those wooden shoes? Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this would be a great sketch. Amsterdam realizes they need a government. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, fuck, dude, oh, fuck. Damn. Do we have a society? Is government and society different or is that yeah. the same? Damn. Okay, uh shit. Okay, first of all, that park where we all smoke weed, I think we need someone to mow it. I think we need to get <laughs> someone to mow it. And maybe that's the same guy that runs the city. Maybe the mayor should mow the lawn. Mayor should yeah. mow the lawn. That's what mayors do. Pothole, mow the lawn. Totally. Do we have an airport? Oh, we need an airport. We should oh. probably get an airport. Yeah. Do you have planes first or airport here. first? Whoa, oh, shit. Yeah, that's like a chicken egg oh, thing, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. Where's it going to land? But where do you build? You build it. Oh, man. Yeah, dude. Do build if plane? we don't have any planes, then why would we build it? But if we have planes, then where are we going to put them, dude? Yeah, we need to put a boat on. Fuck, a boat. dude. So they do build boats. They build a boat on land, and then they dump it in the water. <laughs> That's how they build a boat. I think they build it almost on land. <laughs> I think they, I think they build it next to the water on land. You right next to the, the water. Yeah, but it's on. It's uh on hooks. All in the ocean. It's on, it's on, yeah, totally. That's right. Getting <laughs> sawdust in the ocean. Yo, dude. <laughs> Dude, build if, it further. <laughs> the, the turtles are gonna choke on your sawdust, man. That's not cool. The tide comes in, it takes the boat out, and you're like, it's not ready. <laughs> it's oh, Smash cut to it. you and I standing on a beach building a boat out of straws. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we build the whole boat out of the straw? That's yeah, not a bad that idea. way it'll never hurt straws. any turtles. We should be building boats out of trash, right? The trash is already in the ocean. Yeah. Sitting dude. there. Glue it mm -hmm. all together, make a big trash boat. Dude, I feel this a hundred percent. Yeah. I uh I think that we should be doing this in every part of our life. I've been wiping my ass with beer cans. <laughs> it's like they're, you know, what else are they? Why would I use paper if I got this thing I'm gonna throw away anyway? And uh yeah, I uh keep going to the hospital for uh ripping my asshole open. <laughs> With the metal of the can, but you know, other it helps than that, the environment, it's a yeah. pretty cool dude thing to do. <laughs> yeah, totally. Wipe your ass with a can. I, you know, when you're at a bar and they they open the beer for you, and they leave the tab sticking straight up and they hand it to you. Oh yeah, yeah, what yeah. Do, what is that? What are we doing? Why do I yeah. want all? I I immediately put it down. Why is it up? Why are they putting it up? What the fuck Maybe is to that? Indicate that. They're the one who did it, just in case. Maybe I it's know like they Adam. did. It. They're standing right in front of them. Yeah, but maybe sometimes you're not there. The person's not there when they serve it, and so they just get in the habit of turning it up. And then if it's down, you know someone fucked with your drink. Maybe there's got to be a reason. But uh, yeah, like why don't I open it? Why don't you give it to me unopened? I think I'll that's no actually one. a law. I think they have to open it. Really? Yeah. Oh. Because okay, because otherwise see. you could take it with you hypothetically. You could like sneak it into your bag or something. Wow, why would I do that? Well, some people want to drink at home. That's true. And you know what I drink when I'm drinking at home, Dave? I have no idea at all. I drink El Segundo beer. Wow, that's interesting. Why don't you tell it's me more about that? Well, I I gotta tell you, it's not just one or two. Uh, they have their whole lineup is great. Every single <laughs> beer. Let me tell you this. They get me fucked the fuck up. These wow. Beers. I Two drink fucks. A, I, I have a couple of these and I'm, you know, butt naked on my porch shooting a gun in the air Hell every yeah, time. Dude. And that's in it's, California. Yeah. When I go to jail a lot, but it's good beer. It tastes good. The alcohol is good. And the people that work there top notch, in my opinion, Dave. I agree, man. <laughs> I really like what you're saying about El Segundo Brewing. I think it's a good business. 
my my thing, my the way that I feel about El Segundo <laughs> is it's actually El El first. You know, it's not Segundo. Segundo. <laughs> it's El first. <laughs> I couldn't think of the Spanish word for first, and so I feel like kind of a no? Neanderthal. Yeah, you know what I mean. What is, is the? I El can't even. El Palo- I, El Palo- Palo- uh, wow, we are the dumbest people on fucking earth. We uh, are, but you know but that's okay. El Segundo makes great beer, which sure and do. El Segundo's beer actually has directly contributed to how stupid I am. Yes, um, because it's the only beer that gets you drunk, and it's I think we all one. know and you get smarter. Yeah, well, not if you drink the amount I drink. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't get enough of this shit. Yeah. No, it's great. They're fucking amazing. We love them very much. They treat us very well. They're they're sweet people that we love to hang out with. Very good. Based sometimes right there in I, Los Angeles, California. Sometimes I have dreams and I go, ooh, I wish I could wake up and drink El Segundo. I hate that I have to sleep every night. I wish I could just drink it. Yeah, totally. Instead of sleeping. That's how yeah. good it is. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I shotgun six El Segundo <laughs> beers. And I do that because I have a really really terrible drinking problem (laughs) (laughs) but if you do have a drinking problem why drink shitty beer yeah that's what i'm always blown away by you see these people uh they're the you know alcohol drugs have ruined their life and they're sitting there drinking steel reserve i go look yeah man just if you're going to be drunk all the time you know why not make it taste better totally you know if yeah. you're going to pass out in the park why and you're going to steal beer anyway why not steal el segundo also if you don't drink all the time perhaps consider starting <laughs> <laughs> i know a lot of people they go oh cut back oh do this do that <laughs> you're like hey, i drink at weddings or whatever have you thought about drinking like every weekend yeah have you thought about drinking to such excess that it becomes uh life-threatening for you <laughs> then it's way more fun. it's like surfing you're like whoa right right you know is this gonna be my last beer ever and that's what i like to think about while having a nice mayberry ipa well i you know i hope my um, last beer ever is el segundo totally that's right yeah. hell yeah that's how good it is that's how good it is yeah yeah, it's good shit. I uh it is worth saying very quickly that uh <laughs> we don't mean that. No. And no. uh I know that's clear to many of you but also uh alcohol addiction is real. It's real. So don't, don't drink uh, every day yeah. and uh take some time off. Do a nice sober October, whichever month you prefer, but uh yeah. I do think if you do drink, pick El Segundo for your yeah. beers. Uh, put it in the rotation, you know. It really it's is fucking there. delicious. We are yeah. like sponsored by them, and so we are biased and also have to say this, but it's earnest compliments. Yeah. They're great. It's They're the only great. beer that mails me beer. I know that. Yeah, I know. Mailed Same. me a case the other day. It was great. Yeah, me too. I'll drink it real fast. Did you get the the clear as fuck one? Yes. I got it's a It's really bunch. good. They have a, a new IPA never- called Clear as Fuck that is like a collaboration with another brewery. And it's like a really light looking IPA, but it's like hoppy as shit. It's really good. Hell yeah. I really liked it. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, uh, totally. I, I, it's, every beer is not everywhere, but I think most cities have the uh, Broken Skull Lager yeah, for sure. IPA. So get one of them. So it'll help support us, help support them, and it'll get you all drunk. Oh, dude. I was in. Everything about this story is about to be stupid. I was in J.C. Penny yesterday. Oh hell yeah, dude! Yeah, I went there in my time machine. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I couldn't they believe it. They're back to school sale. <laughs> yeah, totally. We yeah, also are sponsored by J.C. Penny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I took my time machine to J.C. Penny. I got a new Trapper Keeper, and right. uh, yeah, man, the whole family. Yeah, totally. Also, uh, right by the register, they had the new Nirvana CD. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> um, no, uh, JC Penny is still a store, which I can't fucking believe it. And I was going to a Crazy. park and I wanted to bring a blanket, and I have bought all new things in the past few months because of the move. And so I don't have like a blanket I use. And uh, so I bought a blanket 
I like found one online and I had to be in the mall and whatever. I like JC Penny had a cheap blanket and I bought it. But while I was in there, it like hasn't changed at all. Like all the racks are from the nineties. Like it's not a company that's doing well at all. Oh, also, no. I don't know what the fuck this mall was. It also had a Sears. Like, talk about a what? time machine. There, yeah, it was really weird. It was wow. like yeah, man, there was a Sabaro. I couldn't believe. I was like, am I really 39? Is this a memory? Am I inside a now memory? Now I want to go. I, that sounds yeah. fun. Sounds like a yeah. walk down memory lane. Yeah, yeah. Champs hot Sports. Topic? Hot Topic? No Hot Topic. Mm-hmm. No, Spencer's? sorry, buddy. But I did see a guy with green hair, like a punk dude with green hair. I was like, wow, I hadn't seen that style of punk in a while. Yeah, seems well, like it's the only place you can go. <laughs> the mall <laughs> totally yeah and um That'd so anyway <laughs> a punk ghost <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean yeah what does a punk ghost do they, you know that it, it's always ghosts they always say oh all ghosts are from the 1800s but it'd be funny to see a ghost from like 94 green hair yeah walking around totally <laughs> Yeah, and it just uh, instead of going like, ooh, he just goes another turning point, a fork stuck in the run. <laughs> what was that, honey? <laughs> honey, did you hear that? I think the ghost is mad. I dumped him. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, uh, yeah. So in J.C. Penny, there was a song playing on the like you know in store mm-hmm. radio, and. I had never heard it. I'm going to assume it's like a pop song that's out now. I don't know if it's big or anything, but it was a pop song. And I think it's a now song. And the chorus, it was like one of those songs. It's like, everybody's going to be good. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like, yeah. like, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, we're going to live forever. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. Life is incredible. The world is a big family i don't know i yeah. can't even pretend and better um, and better yeah totally um like we are all strong kind of thing but but the mm-hmm. chorus was like everybody should hug somebody once a day every single person on earth should kiss somebody once a day and i was like no <laughs> this no. is bad why no. is this a message but it was just like it was literally like everybody should hug someone once a day Everyone should kiss someone every day. And I, what they were trying to say was, we all deserve love and affection in our lives. But what you're saying to kids is, kiss people. Go right, right. kiss people. Kiss. I them. don't even agree that everyone deserves love and affection. Right. I mean, a lot of people do, but Hitler doesn't. Right. And uh, I'm sure there's others. Uh, Gaddafi. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of people who are dead. Uh, who doesn't deserve love and affection? I'm literally uh, looking it up right vanilla now. Vanilla Ice. I don't know if he deserves it. Oh my God! It's called Once a Day. Oh come on! That's like the <laughs> Lego Movie song. The Everything Is Awesome and shit. Oh no! This is a Spearhead song. Do you know Spearhead? No. It, Michael Franti and Spearhead were like. I don't know exactly what the setup was, but Michael Fran I thought Michael Franti was Spearhead and I- he was like an indie rapper in the 90s and 2000s and uh, I saw him live once and the entire show was about how we need to kill everybody in the government because they're Whoa. all trying to own us. <laughs> I thought he uh, did that song hey, and I'm on the way seven times I'm not a day. I know everywhere I go I thought he did that song. That doesn't well, sound like he wants to kill the government. I think that he must have taken a left turn because this song right. is literally him. And it's uh, everybody ought to hug somebody at least once a day. Everybody ought to kiss somebody at least once a day. Everybody's going to miss somebody at least once a day. Everybody got to love somebody every day. And we will all rise up. Rise up. It's We're like, going to be damn. too horned up. To rise he up. literally was like trying to rage against every machine and now he's just sipping on hot chocolate i know what he's doing he wants to get he wants to bone a lot of uh communists yeah so he's like look to overthrow the government i'm gonna need a hug and a kiss <laughs> and they're like i guess i don't really want to no right. it's the only way 
that's the only way gandhi said that shit i'm gonna need at least once <laughs> like he's setting it yeah preferably more but at least once and so you know everybody think... deserves a blow job every at least at least once a day right exactly <laughs> that's exactly what the next the sequel to this song is um <laughs> Totally. Everybody should have sex with me once a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everybody should buy one of my albums once a day. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody should be my best friend every day. Oh, man. It's, it's so also, funny. <laughs> it's illegitimately. You're not wrong. I think you're not wrong. He used to be like the only way. Uh for the poor to get their due in this world is for the proletariat to rise up and topple the authority that has been oppressing them since the beginning of time. And now he's like, actually, we should kiss. <laughs> That's how you do it. The only way to do it hey, is what kiss. If, what if what if we kissed in front of the government? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. What if we kissed in front of the Supreme Court? I mean, <laughs> yeah, that'll really show them, babe. At least once a day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what a fucking turd. That's what it's <laughs> I know, what a fucking loser, dude. God damn it. <laughs> Everybody should kiss once a day. Everybody, Fuck you, dude. dude. Everybody <laughs> yeah. should. That's how we're going to solve the world's problems. Everybody should have a Diet Pepsi at least once a day. <laughs> I would love to see his, like, <laughs> mentions. Of thousands of people like, uh, well, why don't you check your face privilege? A lot of people don't have lips and oh, can't sure. kiss. I have no limbs. And a <laughs> hug for me is going to be pretty fucking tough, my totally. Lord. Hey, Spearhead, I got an idea. Everybody should kill myself once a day. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to What's It Called, everybody. Hey, hey, Don't hello. kill yourself, ever. Don't kill yourself. And uh, and honestly, if you have an alcohol problem, please seek treatment. That said, treatment. Yeah. We, do act, we do very much enjoy El Segundo Brewing. <laughs> Boy, I love it. Uh, and we love you very much. Thank you so much for listening to our podcast. That is uh, a big old stupid pile of stupid. We're happy yeah. you're here. Everybody should listen to it at least once a day. Get ready to fucking lay down hey, at least once yeah. a day. What's Whether you're actually boy? laying your entire body down or just listening to our stupid podcast as a supplement for laying down, which we are medically proven to be. If you listen yeah. to our show, it's very similar to a nap. The only and difference is, good. yeah, naps are great. Naps are definitely better than listening to Spearhead tell you to fucking kiss somebody you don't know. Right. Spearhead. Everybody should, you should kiss somebody. Yeah. That's not good. It's like the creepiest song I've ever heard. Um, everybody should kiss somebody once a day. Somebody? That's pretty vague. Yeah, dude. Yeah, totally. That's what I hate about it. It's like, sure, maybe what you're trying to say is like the person you're in a relationship with or you like kiss your mother on the cheek. But there's enough creeps out there to be like, everybody should kiss somebody once a day. All right. Yeah, it's like, oh, great. I'm going to find now somebody the at the loop. bank. Awesome. Thanks. You're a real <laughs> hero, you motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, what's up, you fucking Richard Carnes? Yeah, hell yeah. Thanks for listening. What's this up, is What's y'all? It Called. We, we renamed so it. Much. We fuck around. We yeah. drink beer. Our website is what's it called rodeo links to all yeah. our social media and our discord server and all that shit on there. Uh, we have a Patreon with bonus episodes on it and you get a shout out on the show. If you sign That's up right. for our Patreon, patreon.com slash what's it called. And, uh, damn, I guess that's all the business shit. Yeah. We've yeah. So good at saying the list of shit. Yeah. You know? And join that page. The bonus episodes are so good. They're better than the regular ones. That's I true. Think. That's and, true. Uh, we, you know, that's the only way to do it. And you support us. We can buy El Segundo beer with that money. We can uh, do all kinds of shit. Yeah, dude. I can fly to L.A. and kiss Caleb, which is oh, at least once a day. Those those miles add up. Everybody should kiss their podcast partner <laughs> on the lips every day. <laughs> Which is what I call you, my podcast partner. Podcast partner. I, it is hard whenever we have to make like a business call. Like I hated being on the phone 
uh, uh, like when we're trying to, because <laughs> I don't know if y'all know this out there, your Karns, but sometimes we have to, you know, this is a podcast. We got to get stuff done, but I I have had to Man. say that on the phone. I'll be like my uh, partner, podcast partner, my David Ross. And I'm like, business doing this partner. He's my business partner. Yes. And it's like a show where we talk about pooping for like 15% of the time. Truly. <laughs> They're like entire episodes of our business that we're yeah. just like, man, have you been shitting more? Me too. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's been a lot of shitting this week. Big shit week. Damn, dude. This is my business. <laughs> I, I have an LLC that is like, like an, a not insignificant amount of the working operation of my LLC involves discussing taking a dump well not enough because um, let me tell you something about old sea dogs dumps lately they've been great uh oh, i've good. been doing an apple a day to keep the doctor away yeah they, but they don't what they don't tell you is it, it keeps the doctor away but it gives you a nice big old fat dump that's true you know? dude and uh let me tell you get yourself uh, when you're getting your groceries get a nice bag of honey crisp apples it gives you a nice dump in the morning as soon as you wake up I got a. I, I had a recent change to my dump schedule. Personally, I uh, I've been eating a lot of kale, and so yeah. what's new with me is that at every moment of every day, I am shitting. <laughs> uh, it's a superfood. It's just a constant. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm shitting right now. Uh, I'll be shitting later, and I was shitting before too. Um, yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah. That that's good for your body, you know. Yeah, totally. You, you need don't to get want... a bidet because you're gonna rub that ass raw, shitting all day, buddy. Not only do I have a bidet, I got two bidets. Whoa, one for I your just... ass, one for your yeah. Face. That's right, one for my left eye and uh... <laughs> face down, ass up. That's the way I clean my ass. Yeah, well, I like to. It gets because I shit, and then afterward, I like to get real close to the toilet and see what's going on. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Uh yeah. See what's, going on. <laughs> what's in there? What's happening in here? No, that's our new what's in there. Sure. <laughs> what's in there? The toilet. <laughs> what's in the toilet? <laughs> Dude, by the way, you know, like if you're listening and uh you did not grow up a man in the 90s or earlier, mm -hmm. I can't speak to whether it was uh being a, being a boy in school in uh the 2000s uh also i should include people that uh everyone in school thought was a boy or uh had a situation where you were around a lot of boys if you didn't have this experience growing up you might not be aware that there's all these like pranks that have a name and i remember being <laughs> around dudes we yeah. would all like list these and it was fun to list them because it's just fun to like we're on a podcast right now where we rename shit, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and then you find out that people actually did them. And the one I'm talking about right now is the upper decker. Are you aware of I've the upper of decker? What is That's that? where you take off the top of the toilet and you shit into the. Tank. Oh, no, I have heard of this. And apparently people do that. But why? But why? Yeah. Like <laughs> you got to clean the toilet. <laughs> Well, you don't. You do it to someone. You do it at like a party, and you're like, "Hey, I oh, upper deckered their horrible. toilet. They're gonna, their dad's gonna find a turd in the tank." <laughs> just go, just rob God. them or something. Totally a prank that makes sense. Go shit on their bed. Heal a bottle of vodka. Don't just like shit in the thing. So like a few upper days later, decker. you can like hear that they're mad. I uh... <laughs> we were talking about it on the camping trip. Me and my buddies were talking about how for a good three years i would say sixth seventh and eighth grade we were constantly hitting each other in the balls right like you would hit your friends in the balls all yeah. the time yeah and yeah, it was yeah. like a fun game of tag and it hurt really bad yeah and it's just like that's what we did to our own friends and like eventually we had to call a truce but yeah totally uh, it's insane what young dudes do to each other there is something about testosterone you know you and i literally when i see caleb which is once a week which is not as much as i used to see him so by all rights it's nice to see him more so each time than before when we saw each other regularly 
And inside of 30 seconds, we were both like, fuck you. <laughs> and that's just like how we behave to each yeah, other. Yeah. And we're softies, you know? Right, right. What is that? What's up, I don't know what that is. Shit. That's what? just the way we show love. That's just Man, how it goes. suck on my dick. Yes, you suck on my dick. Fucking loser. Uh, oh, wow. No. Congratulations I meet- on sitting in front of a blue barn, you fucking <laughs> idiot. <laughs> if you're not watching us on YouTube. Me and Dave got some sick barns that we like to record. Yeah, in front dude. Of. I got a gray barn. He got a blue barn. Yeah, and I feel uh, like it fits. Yeah. I'm more of a gray barn man. I've always said that about myself. Well, I'm it's... a gray barn man. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That is my song. That's my song I play whenever I walk into a saloon. And I'm I'm like, piano man, hit it. Oh, and uh, man. he's got those puffy sleeves. Oh, uh, you, know the piano man. you know the fucking piano man in the corner. He's old. He knows two songs. <laughs> What do you think? Should we rename the Red Hot Chili Peppers? We should. They need a new name. They really fucking do. Uh, Mostly because they're the worst band of all time. Yeah. I mean, I like Stadium Arcadium, but. Well, congratulations, dude. I'm a piece of shit. Yeah, man. I'm really happy for you that you like a terrible fucking album. Hey, I (laughs) I don't. Every album. I sometimes I get sick of good ones. I um I actually do feel this way, fully aware that uh, it's uh, all music is taste. I don't know if you love them. A lot of people love them. I am very comfortable hating on them because I really, really hate it. And I think they're really bad. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, a lot of people love I don't know. I, I love Coldplay. I and Blink For some reason, you know? I don't like I only like that one album. I don't know why, but that one I just has songs that I like and the other ones don't. It's interesting. Uh, it's just interesting that you like something so objectively terrible. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I no, no, no. I love some of their stuff. I, I when I was young, I I liked them to a certain degree. I like. I still like those. Like they have like a few slower, beautiful songs that are great. Like uh, yeah, yeah. Under the Bridge is great, and and Soul to Squeeze is really great. And um, I really liked that album One Hot Minute when I I had it when I was a kid. There are a few oh, songs yeah. on there. Aeroplane's cool. When they like take their time to write a melody, I think it's cool. But then, like so many of their songs, are like bam, 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 like bam, bam, stop bam, it. Yeah, it's just a lot of it's a lot of silliness. Hey, what's up? Know. I'm Flea. I got no teeth. This is my friend Anthony. Yeah, he doesn't be, own clothes. He'll be wearing we like with a, everybody a pink feather boa with an Abe Lincoln hat. Totally. And, uh, and I just I don't understand. I'm I, their vibe that they go for is odd to me sometimes. But. Yeah, totally. It's uh, yeah. I got a name for him. What's the name? Oh, sure. I got a bunch of names for. Him. <laughs> I'm so okay. Uh, for I, how about Skibidi Bop? That sounds yep. pretty good. Totally. Why not just make your name your th- thing? Yeah, I got a name for him. Gaba gaba daka daka knob 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 fart noise. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> how about that? How about that? Name? <laughs> how about that? Uh, how about Botticelli Macadamia? Blot blot poopy poopy. How about Hobby Lobby Philharmonic? The condom broke the band. <laughs> <laughs> How about Horny for Sunglasses? Oh, that's funny that you said that because I, I have a name for him. Horny fucking loser dipshits. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Hawk Pro Skater San Andreas. Green Eggs and Ham. Flaming Fajitas. The Tabasco Boys. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> totally, yeah. Hey, welcome to Pack Sun. Hats are half off. Old and also stupid heroin assholes. Naked and pissed off. Bad, hot, shitty fuckheads. <laughs> <laughs> Rage against the McDonald's ice cream machine. Oh, shit. That's fucking funny. That's really good. Um, all right. You're not going to believe this, but we vote. <laughs> <laughs> all right. My last one was, bro, my girlfriend fell asleep. Fire out the PS5. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Totally, totally. They are exactly the band that people are like, oh, oh, oh. it's just six guys sitting around like, yo, did you hear the new album? It sounds like this. And uh, yeah, dude, it's like a tall guy going. Bah, 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 bah. And then there's like a short guy with no teeth on bass going. Bah, 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 bah. Oh, man. And all their songs are called like are called like sex dancing, sex dancing on the beach, sex dancing on the beach in a Camaro with my friends. Fucking, I hate them, dude. I <laughs> I hate them so, so much. 
dude, you're not going to believe this. We put out a new album, and it's only bass guitar. The whole thing. It's just a, it's just a, and that's the singer. I, <laughs> if you look up the lyrics, every single word in the song is in brackets because it's not a language. I, uh, <laughs> Anyway, here's my last name. The exact opposite of Radiohead. <laughs> <laughs> they are the opposite of Radiohead. They really are. <laughs> yeah, totally. Uh, two but things I like you it. need to know about my band. I listen to a lot of Parliament Funkadelic, and I barely speak a language. <laughs> I... Uh, <laughs> Ah <laughs> uh, man! Oh, it's funny. Red Hot. Anyway, Chili yeah, Flea's a good actor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like Flea. <laughs> Me too. Also, Flea's like a really cool guy. Did you know that that Flea know that. owns the Silver Lake Conservatory of Music? What? And it's Keep like going, Flea? free music lessons to like kids in uh, like the east side of LA. That's great. Yeah, he rules. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. What's the name of the dude, the tattoo fucking loser in that band? I don't know. They're, I don't know any other names except Flea. He's also in Jane's Addiction. Well, uh, there's the guy that looks like Will Ferrell. He get he, he like gets kicked out of the band and rejoins the band all the time. What's the name? Oh, I'm gonna here's you. what I'm gonna Google. Um, tattoo guitar loser, <laughs> and see that's gonna come up with something. Oh, I ho I was really hoping he would come up. Tattoo guitar loser, red hot chili peppers. Damn, I really thought that that would let me know who it was. He has like a TV show about tattooing. Dave what? David Coulier. David Coulier. <laughs> Dave Coulier. It's Dave Coulier. He's in Red Hot Chili Peppers. I mean, he'd fit right in. <laughs> Cut it out. Cut it out, guys. Yeah, I, I wish they would cut it out. <laughs> Let me tell you. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my God. This is going to fucking kill me. You know you know who this guy is, dude. Uh, I don't know anything. No, you do. Dave Navarro. That's who it is. Dave Navarro. You've what? heard of Dave Navarro. Uh, yeah, I didn't know he was in there. Yeah, he was in there for a minute, and then he yeah. uh, left, and then he came back. I would yeah. love to get kicked out of a band. That seems so cool. Totally, dude. There's the great, you know, Lars Ulrich is like the worst guy of all time, but in that uh, in that Metallica documentary, Some Kind of Monster, have you seen it? Mm -mm. Oh, my God. First of all, it's one of the best documentaries ever made. Dude, you would love this movie because it's about Metallica, which is just great, and uh, but it's also... They all it. It's like while they're making that album, Saint Anger, uh, probably their arguably their worst album, and uh, they all quit drinking and they get a band therapist, <laughs> and so the movie is about it's like them going to therapy together and individually. What? And there's like literally scenes where James Hetfield is like Lars, you know, it really. Uh, hurt my feelings when you were so harsh about my lyrics of the new song. It's like really, it's great because Kirk Hammett is just like, uh, <laughs> it's just, I'm fine. Oh, wow. I think I think I'm fine, and you guys are all fucked up. And um, they uh, they get like they get the new bassist uh during it, and then they also go to Jason Newstead's new band's concert, and he won't talk to them. It's like all this hilarious drama of old Metallica, but you know, Dave Mustaine, Man, the guy who started Megadeth was in Metallica for their first album. I want to say, or maybe even before then, and they oh, kicked shit. him out of the band and Megadeth has gone on to be like a, one of the biggest metal bands in the history of metal. They have all sorts of songs on the radio. He's famous basically. And, uh, but he never let go of the fact that he got, kicked out of Metallica and yeah. there's this great scene where Lars Ulrich says the only thing he's ever said that I liked where Dave is like confiding in him he's like it's just like I don't know I don't know if I'll I, I, like ever it's just like being kicked out of Metallica 
it has like never stopped hurting me and has like defined my entire life. And Lars Ulrich is like, yeah, I don't believe that. <laughs> You're in Megadeth, dude. Yeah, it was good. I don't remember why I started <laughs> yeah, saying that. Fine. Yeah, well, but... they're bands, and uh, they oh got yeah, good, they must good have got kicked out of Metallica. That's why. Yeah, I want to get kicked out of Metallica. Sounds great. Start dude, we got so many tweets for this one. I oh yeah, it's the most we ever got. I hope other people hate them like I do. It looks like they do. Uh, the first one I see is w Will Ferrell and the Floppy Dicks. That comes from Chewable Prozac. This is fantastic. We need to figure out more things like Red Hot Chili Peppers to rename because these are already so fun. First one I saw at Bushel of Awesome said, Mustache Tidy Whitey Boogaloo Troop. <laughs> Whoa! That's so funny, That's dude. great. Uh, like it was just Austin <laughs> says boop bap babi bo dabba deep do. That's Dude. perfect. Yeah. Uh, at Stro My Banjo says uh, helicopter dick. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this uh, is really like funny. At Max J. Kerr has a list of alt titles for Californication, Massachusetts. Uh, <laughs> Kinetic Cucked, uh, North Dakotas. Oh, hell yeah. Louisiana Lingus. <laughs> Into Mississippi. What? West Virginia. Oh, uh, man. Wisconsin Intercourse. Colorado Dog. <laughs> New Hampshire. I hardly know her. <laughs> uh, Alaska, Arkansas, Kansas, Nebraska, Texas. Damn, dude, Max Jaker, thank you, you for. You gotta win something for that. That is, yeah, uh, we're gonna retweet you. A, you. I'm gonna just gonna retweet, retweet it. it. Hell yeah! I think it's yeah, it's that's not the one for the name. Yeah, we but that's fully... you'd, you'd get your own something. Yeah, totally. You, we got the Ricky shit that gets the Rocky cock of the week, a slightly at, unrelated reward. At Saint Junior. Zero nine says hip hop distibity dibbity chip chop. He say he gonna win big. <laughs> I like this one here. Uh, at Demira said chili willy and the shit box boys. <laughs> Damn, this is this is fantastic. Oh man. <laughs> Uh, these are uh, so wow, ones. this is so mean, dude. <laughs> At the real Zach still says four failed clones of Jello Biafra that imprinted on a photo of Brendan Fraser. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, Tay uh, Snorker said Dickleback. I really yeah, like Dickleback. There we go. At Tomboy Jag says mild green bell peppers. <laughs> <laughs> mild That's green so bell peppers. <laughs> Uh, uh they'd open for the little river band or something <laughs> dude these oh, are I'm all like, at tree fox drive blood booger flex tragic said wet rot smelly peckers <laughs> <laughs> jesus this is amazing. Uh, there's another <laughs> The Real Zach Still one. David Duchovny's Sexy Time Playlist. <laughs> oh, man. At Apocpod. Oh. Flaming Hot Cheetos the Musical. <laughs> oh, dude. Yes. At Remain Champagne. Old Matt Champagne. What's up, dude? He's a great L.A. comic. I've known him for so long. Uh, Dead Twat Silly Flappers. Another one from at Max Jinker, rest stop Dilly Peppers. <laughs> <laughs> at another Tomboy Jag, hey, oh, I don't know what you're saying, oh. <laughs> at David Kayla's mom, dicks out, music bad, can't lose. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's so funny, dude. Uh, Turduck and MRE <laughs> says, guys who say love instead of fuck the band. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is from at Badwig Spicy Scat Nipple Buddies <laughs> <laughs> Jesus dude <laughs> These are so good <laughs> This was from at Immortal Wombat said, Clifford the Big Red Stinky Pooper <laughs> At Asparagus Fring Dinky Dinky g Guitar Guys <laughs> Oh shit 
think that one here from, uh, had to consecrate red hot chili sex offenders. <laughs> <laughs> wow, red hot chili sex offenders is so funny, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> At I like Mike Perry said we own one shirt total. <laughs> At she be Carleen says Big Tony's Giggle Rock Fun Time Band. <laughs> I can't even I'm finish. <laughs> oh man! At Wright Moeller, Poppers the Musical. Oh, oh, At Turducken yeah. MRE, here's another one. Primus goes to Hollywood. <laughs> That's really great. That's very good. By the way, there man. are so many good ones that I'm trying not to repeat. A, a person but like Ooh. just know that a bunch of you have written multiple funny ones <laughs> and i'm trying to get everyone in uh but here's another turducken mre slip slop jizzy busies <laughs> <laughs> at kick acid ron says the cool blue mushroom poppers oh man god damn there's so many good ones at still stalling says extremely sunshine and incredibly guitar riff <laughs> At at wow. Ian Gecko said a slap of the bass, flop of the cock. <laughs> <laughs> at that CPA girl says Maroon Four. Oh, dude, damn, very good. That's really funny. Oh man, uh, there's still so many, dude. I know, it, dude. There's No way to. Oh my god, at Sad Hotels music says the Wang a Dang Doodles. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so specific what we all think of them as at uh she be carlene says jalapeno bros <laughs> dude here's a bunch in a row from oh man these are all funny jesus at loki hates you says cock sock rock jocks <laughs> at toad rat fred flintstone raps <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. That oh. might be the one. That's so clever. Very good. Um, and Eric W. Barnes says, Burt Bop Jalapeno Poppers. <laughs> oh, at Tiger B8 mm -hmm. said Marlboro Funkadelic, which is, oh, man. Oh, wow. There's so many good, really solid pun ones. <laughs> and there's so many good, silly ones. Dude. And here's another. I, I'm really, Turducken MRE is really crushing it. If the Seinfeld theme song was about coming. <laughs> oh my God. That's so true. Bing, 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 bing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know who to pick. I know, I, dude. There's never been this many good ones. Did you do at Demurist, uh, Hibba Dibba Hooba Habba Dibbo, California? <laughs> I didn't see that one. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ. Funny. At Boogeyman Weather says, Hoobas thanks, Dad. Um, <laughs> thanks, Dad. Oh, at, shit. This is oh, a funny man. one from at, That's Me, Carrie C. Says, uh, yeah, the guy on the far left has always been in the band. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's great. great. Here's up, another Carrie? one from at Tess Norker. Please stop giving it away. We don't have much left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this I... one's great from at KB Anderson. Yo said the in and out roustabouts. <laughs> That's very good. That is real. Wow. I don't at, know, man. I, dude, I've never had this many funny ones. Totally. At pocket mobster says chums and bass. Chums and bass. Uh Oh, this is clever. At Ian underscore gecko says butt rock surfers. Dude, hell yeah. Great. Yeah, dude. I mean, <laughs> this is at Greasy Thug, the Bongo Boys. <laughs> the Bongo so, Boys. Oh man, so many of. Uh, good lord, dude. I don't yeah, know. Wow. At Taste Norker says Sublime without Rome. Oh, dude. Hell Damn, yeah. That's very. I I I do not want to stop. I like so many of There's them. So many good ones. I mean, I, I never How... have I. I mean, I was like crying, laughing. Totally. I mean, I feel like maybe. I mean, maybe we one by one go through. Are you logged into What's It Pod? No, I'm just looking at it on mine. Okay, so maybe I'll just like go through and we maybe we should pick five. You know what sure. I mean? Like this, this is one's just... so funny. I'm down. Dude, did you read at Chris Calabrese says big butt silly farters? <laughs> Dude, so, this, the is, ones that this really is one got of the funniest me. things I've ever heard. At Hot Gandalf sixty nine said, ranging, 
<laughs> I can't even rage against the machine for pussies. <laughs> It's just so reductive. Oh, my God, oh, dude. <laughs> so, this is the funniest. Uh, oh, my God. Clifford, the big red stinky pooper really made me laugh. Okay. Red I hot think... chili sex offenders <laughs> made me laugh. Yeah. Uh, there's so many really good ones. Parliament Funkadelic for Dummies. That's us add Spicy Badwig. Scat Nipple Buddies. Rest Stop Dilly Pappers. At Strum my... music, but I can't lose. I mean, so many funny ones. Strum My Banjo had Helicopter Dick. Also had Blue Ball Shitty Diapers. <laughs> Tickleback from Tiz oh, Snorker is so good. That's so good. We love oh, man. Yeah. Shout out to Tiz Snorker. <laughs> uh, Snorker and yeah. a handful of you that we see in here. Darth Plato, we see you yeah. guys in the Discord. And actually, Snorker, I've met here. She's the coolest. Hell yeah. Uh, join our Discord. Uh, get to know these people. There's such like, it's just such like a like a very real community in there now. It's funny. Like I was telling uh snorker this when I saw her, I'll get like, I, you know, moving and stuff and, and just like life. I don't, sometimes I don't go into the discord for like a month and then I'll feel bad and I'll go in and be like, ah, I need to like say what's up. And like, this is our discord. I need to participate. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm in there and they, they, they're all hanging out. They all know each other. They got this. Yeah, yeah, they don't even great. need us anymore. <laughs> when they all. did the roast <laughs> on what's a day they roasted us. Did you hear that? no what Dude, they did a annual roast of of what's it called and they Holy had a, they wrote shit. roast jokes and they recorded it and you what? can go listen to it it's in there oh my god i'm going to that's incredible yeah it's really funny they really got us good damn most of, I, most of, I mean i love it i felt so honored i am yeah are you kidding that's yeah. so i'm going to go listen to that right when we're fucking done Hell yeah. okay well f also thank you all of you for roasting us that yeah, is yeah. the biggest compliment in the world it was Jesus. very very cool and uh if you join our patreon at the 25 dollar level uh which is the highest level you get all the free episodes a free vo video and you get a shout out on every single episode because you're a producer damn yeah it. And uh, we are going to uh, shout them out in just a minute, but we got to give out numerous Ricky shits right now. Oh, yes, uh, we do. So I'm going to retweet Big Butt Silly Farters from Chris Calabrese. <laughs> By the way, here's one I missed before from Zaxby Zalad Zaddy. Did you come, babe? No, that sucks. Is it cool if I say you did in the song? <laughs> it's so funny. You did at uh, Chewable Prozac said Will Ferrell and the Floppy Dicks, right? Oh, I love that one. God. There's I so mean, how do we? Ones. There's pick, no way to dude. pick. I think that's just you know, just throw it on a few. Everybody gets okay. one. That, I mean, everybody Dick, crushed. Dickleback might not even the, be the best snorker name this week, but is so fucking funny. Helicopter Dick. Helicopter from Ad Strum by my banjo. I mean, you guys are man, just crushing it. At Demuris, Chili Willy and the Shitbox Boys really made me laugh. <laughs> I think Turducken MREs flip flop semen fingers. Oh uh, damn! Or maybe no, Turducken MRE had a bunch more. Let's we'll find another one. Oh yeah, at Dave and Caleb's mom, dicks out, music bad, can't lose. <laughs> yeah, this, oh, is, this is my favorite week ever. Everybody I don't need. Yeah, me. totally. Throw out some oh Marlboro Funkadelic from at Tiger. So clever. BAS, so clever. Um. Oh my God! At Boogeyman, weather must stay five hundred feet from the School of Rock. <laughs> wow! Wow! Good Lord! Yeah, y'all really, y'all really went in. It's so Throw funny. Out I was some just more. <laughs> oh, there's, there's, there's too many. It's yeah, insane. I don't know. Um, I'm just, yeah. I guess I'll just like pick the uh, ones that the really Gracie killed thug, me were the silly the Bongo boys. Like dead twat silly flappers, uh, uh, like the ones that were close to the name, like a right, bunch the, of names. Mild yeah. green bell peppers from a uh, tomboy jack. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that one for sure. I'm mustache you know, tidy whitey boogaloo troop. <laughs> yeah. I. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. From Matt Demirest, Hibba Dibba Hooba Haba Dibbo, California. <laughs> At Immortal Wombat, uh, Clifford the Big Red Stinky Pooper. <laughs> I love that one. At uh, Ben, Spicy Scat, Nipple Buddies. 
They're um, all just, just insane. So yeah, if we're not retweeting you, it doesn't mean there are just too many that we like to be able to. Yeah. Fred I mean, Flintstone raps uh, from at Toad Rat. Um, oh man, there were just so many. So I hadn't got to the ones you just said. So make sure I don't miss those, buddy. Yeah, I can go back through. Okay, here uh, we go. At Shebe Carleen, so Big Tony's Giggle Rock Fun Time Band. <laughs> Big Tony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, total red hot chili sex offenders from that so K. Uh, it's so funny. Uh <laughs> flaming hot chili doggers. Is re- <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. Oh, oh wow. Man. I uh dinky dinky guitar guys. Dude, <laughs> I'm like I'm retweeting so many. <laughs> the spicy meatballs. That's so funny. <laughs> that CPA girl. Oh wow. my god, dude. Yeah, they're um, killing us. Uh, dinky, dinky guitar guys. Oh yeah, here we go. Dead twat, silly flappers, <laughs> flaming hot Cheetos, the musical. <laughs> David Duchovny's sexy time playlist. I think I've retweeted Jeez. like thirty at this point. Well, oh, this I didn't even see this. Week. Max J. Kerr, extremely ding dang dong dong, incredibly ding dang dong dong ding dang. <laughs> I can't even fucking handle it, dude. That's so <laughs> funny. Mild green bell peppers. Fucking oh, hell boy. yeah, dude. I uh it's so fun. Y'all, thank you so much. If we missed you, I'm sorry, but good lord. Yeah, so many good the, ones. This is probably the hardest I've laughed in a while. Holy shit. Mustache tidy whitey boogaloo troop. <laughs> <laughs> I just Oh, uh, thank you. We Too are bad. at What's It Pod on yeah, yeah. Twitter and Instagram if you want to jump in. And honestly, this is the exact type of shit I like to rename. I feel like this is pretty similar to renaming Joe Biden. Yeah, Joe yeah. Biden, it's just fun. He is the mustache, tidy whitey boogaloo troop of presidents. <laughs> <laughs> I, man, this was what a blast. Oh, boy. Shout out we to our you. producers at the $25 level, level on our Patreon. Shout out to Dante Beckwith. Peter Cumistra, Amanda Richards, James Colton, Anna Snyder, Peter Dahlberg, Eric Williams, Rando Dixon, and Jane Palatini. What? And shout out to all of you who uh, who are on our Patreon or tweeted at us with your suggestions or just listen. And I like really mean it. Like uh, we are like a small but mighty show at the moment yep. that has uh, the nicest, sweetest, funniest, most supportive group of fans, and we just appreciate you guys so much. Yeah, we love you. Thanks for it, man. That was great. Good yeah, week. holy shit. And uh, we'll see you guys real soon. All right, lay it down. What's it called? What's it called? What's it called?